It all starts here. With mum. She sees a picture of my distorted face, but still gives me all the love that the world cannot. For every moment of a waking hour, she thinks about giving me the best. She thinks about my future, my safety, and my all. She is my favorite chef, my teacher, my doctor, my hygiene specialist, my laundry professional, my chauffeur, my storyteller, my protector, and she is everything else that everyone else cannot be. She was there when I took the first step, but she never expected for me to be there when she had to take her first step again. A sacrifice is unconditional, and her end game is just for her child to do well and be well. They say money can buy everything, but now I know every moment, every day, every hour, every minute with a mom who loves you is better than a billionaire who has never felt a mother's love. Before. There is nothing I can do enough to repay you. There is nothing in this world I can give to buy this love. There is no mountain high enough that you'll not climb for me. And there is no ocean deep enough that you'll not dive into for me. I've once asked you. What can I do to make you happy? And you said that all I got to do is to say thank you. So, Mum, for this Mother's Day, I want to say thank you. Welcome to a special episode of the Fried Chicken Guy. This episode is dedicated to all mummies out there. As a thank you for their hard work and everlasting love for us, I am going to review my chicken nugget secret recipe that is guaranteed to taste better, crispier, and juicier than McDonald's McNuggets. So stay with me till the end of this video to level up your chicken nugget skills. There are altogether 5 parts to frying up this masterpiece. You'll need to prepare the chicken, the thin batter, seasoning flour mix, thick tempura batter, and then finally fry up those babies. Let us begin our nuggets journey. To marinate the minced chicken nice and good, you'll need about 700 grams of minced chicken, 80 milliliters of plain water, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of white pepper, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 gram of baking soda, and mash it all up nicely for around 4 minutes. And you should be greeted with this kind of consistency. Leave the marinated chicken in the freezer for around 1 hour. Your minced chicken can now take shape easier than before since you have put it through the one hour freezing process. Start by taking a chunk in your palm and form it into the usual nugget shape using your fingers. If the meat sticks to your hand, just introduce water to your palms to solve the problem. Once you are done, you will have a huge plate of beautiful pre-cooked nuggets staring at you. Ensure you store them in the fridge to guarantee freshness while you move on to the next step. Just 4 ingredients are needed for the seasoning flour mix. 384 grams or 3 cups of flour, 
one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of Chinese five spices powder, and one teaspoon of white pepper. Give it a good mix for the next three minutes and you'll get this. The thin batter is the easiest of them all to make. All you need is 240 milliliters of plain water and 45 grams of cornstarch. Stir this mixture up until it emulsifies. Make the thick tempura better right before the frying process because you'll have to keep it cold and fresh. Pour 250 milliliters of club soda into the 100 grams of all-purpose flour. Add 4 grams of baking powder, 75 grams of cornstarch, 2 large eggs, and whisk them up until you get this consistency. Place everything in this order. The chicken, tin batter, seasoning flour mix, thick tempura batter, and then the wok for frying. Bring up the flames and ensure that the oil is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Take a nugget in your palm, give it a quick buff in a tin batter, coat it with a seasoning flour mix. Envelop it in a thick tempura batter and then safely dunk it into the hot oil. The frying process should not take more than 10 minutes. It all depends on the size of your nugget, your environment, the number of nuggets you fry at one go, and the type of frying equipment you use. The general rule here is to look at the color of the nugget. Once it turns golden brown, the nuggets are likely ready to be served. So that's it, 5 simple steps to one unforgettable dish of chicken nuggets guaranteed to blow your mind away. If you like this video and want to show some love to all the mothers in this world for this Mother's Day, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can be on the front line of all new videos. I'm serving my nuggets with the amazing Thousand Island Sauce, McDonald's Garlic Chili Sauce and the all-popular American Barbecue Sauce. That's all folks, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys again the next time. Happy Mother's Day.